Well, my key message to business is I want to support the business community as much as possible. Uh, we need a strong economy, a growing economy with a strong, thriving business base if we're to create the wealth that we need to promote a fairer society. Uh, so I want to work with business to do that. We know that a strong economy is necessary for a fairer society, but a fairer society is also important to a stronger economy. So I want a partnership with business whereby we can, working together, advance the living wage, create more job opportunities and make sure that they are high quality opportunities. I think it's, uh, it's always important that politicians engage um, with businesses. We, we've certainly found that the Scottish Government uh, over a number of years have had a very positive engagement uh, with both the utility sector, with SSE and the business community more widely. I think together as a partnership between government and companies we can do a lot of social good which is certainly something that the First Minister talked about this morning. I warmly welcome SSE's announcement. It was the biggest company on the stock exchange some time ago to sign up to the living wage accreditation scheme and today's announcement extends that principle through its supply chain. So it's a very, very welcome announcement, a good example of a company leading by example. I know that for some companies though, that journey to the living wage is much harder uh, and we need to be able to support them in order to make it. So what I'm saying to companies of all shapes and sizes is that I know it will take time, I know it won't happen overnight, but if we can all agree that the living wage is an objective that we should sign up to, then let's work together to make it a reality. We're the largest company in the UK uh, to become accredited for living wage. We've been working hard since then to try and make sure that we push that living wage commitment down into all of our supply chain. So for the, the sort of billion and a half pounds we spend a year uh, building infrastructure assets, what we've announced this morning is our biggest contract ever, 460 million pound contract with ABB to build a subsea cable. And ABB have committed to make sure that um, everybody working on that contract is also paid the living wage. Well, the Council of Economic Advisers provides valuable advice to the government on matters relating to the economy and I want it to continue. It's really important that my government gets access to the best possible advice as we design policies to grow our economy. Uh, I want the council to focus on two things in particular, how we make our economy more competitive. We live in a highly competitive UK, European and global market. We need to make sure we're equipping ourselves to succeed in that competitive environment. But secondly, I wanted to look at how we align economic growth with tackling inequality. It's a wealth of evidence now that says that's the right thing to do. Delighted that Professor Joseph Stiglitz, Nobel laureate, will continue on the council, but also that Harry Burns, the former chief medical officer of the Scottish Government, will come on to the council to bring his expertise on how we tackle inequality to bear.